Hi, my name is Pavitra, and I'm a software engineer at Hero. In this video, I'll be discussing transaction fees and costs associated with executing smart contract code. I'll also briefly cover projects we've executed at Hero that address the pain point of fees. So, blockchains can be expensive. When Yuga Labs, the creator of Bored Ape Yacht Club, launched a new NFT project in late April called Other Side, fees on Ethereum skyrocketed to over $4,000. If you wanted to mint a $5 ENS name, it would have cost you another $4,000 just in fees. While that example is an outlier, blockchain fees are prohibitive for micropayments on a number of blockchains. The question is then, why do we even have fees in the first place? In short, it's because block space is limited and computation isn't free. Let's walk through smart contract costs at a high level. So, blocks bundle transactions. Some of these transactions invoke smart contract methods, and each operation has an associated computational cost. The Stacks blockchain uses a concept called cost functions to compute the approximate cost of executing Clarity code. Some of these cost functions are constant, and others depend on input size. For example, some cost functions take in lists as input. So, the final cost is actually dependent on the length of that list. Moreover, the sum of all the costs in the block must be less than the network block cost limit. In summary, executing smart contract methods has a computational cost. Some are costlier than others. Moreover, all of these costs together must be lower than the overall block limit. This is where fees come in. Fee markets naturally emerge in healthy blockchain networks due to a demand for block space, which is limited. They incentivize miners to process and include transactions in blocks, and they also reduce the occurrence of spam transactions. Users have the option to pay higher or lower fee rates based on the time sensitivity and urgency of their use case. For example, in a popular NFT mint, Users may bid higher fees to ensure their mint is mined in the next block before the collection mints out. For less time-sensitive transactions, users may be willing to wait until the network is less congested in order to pay lower fees for their transaction to be processed. You can think of this like Uber surge pricing. As demand goes up, so do fares. Fees are important to a healthy blockchain network, but as a developer, what can you do to minimize fees for your users? First, do your research. Some ecosystems have higher fees than other ecosystems. For example, Stacks fees are much cheaper today than Ethereum's because STX is just more affordable and there's more room in the ecosystem for new participants. There's also work that developers can do to lower fees at the blockchain level. This is the type of work we're pursuing at Hero, and at Hero we've taken on two projects to improve the experience of the fees in the Stacks ecosystem. With a Clarity Cost Benchmarking project, we measured the real runtimes of different operations in the Clarity Smart Contract language. This work involves accurately measuring the constants of the cost functions for each operation in the Clarity language. Let's look over what the outcome of this project was. First, the work yielded more accurate and mostly smaller cost function constants. This allowed miners to fit more transactions into a block and increase the transaction throughput per block. Finally, by increasing the block throughput, we were able to increase the throughput of the stacks network overall. The second project is a fee estimator project. With this project, we analyze historical transaction data to compute average fee rate estimates. This work gave users more accurate estimates as to what a high or a low fee rate might look like at any given point in time. Now let's discuss how a user might use the fee estimator endpoint. First, the user must understand the urgency of their use case. 
Depending on this understanding, the user can select either the 5th, 50th, or 95th percentile fee rate estimate. This basically just means low, medium, or high fee rate. Lastly, they then pay the estimated fee rate to get their desired confirmation time. At Hero, we are now also building the MVP of Hyperchains, a new scalability solution for Stacks that will offer a low latency, high throughput scaling solution for Stacks applications. Lastly, these are essential to the operation of the network. It keeps a blockchain network open and honest, but as a developer, you need to make sure your users understand fees and why they have to pay them. If you're interested in building in a low fee ecosystem, Stacks might be a good choice for you, where average fees are well under a dollar. If you want to learn more about Stacks and smart contracts for Bitcoin, visit our website, hero.so, and check out some of our resources in the video description below. Thank you.